Hello there, and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys some basics in editing your videos with Imovi. With these tips you can start to make your films look more professional. To see how to start for the first time, let's begin to create new projects, just click create new. Here you can choose between a movie and a trailer project. In this very basic beginner tutorial, we will see just the movie project. Here you can simply drag your video directly on the open library. Or click import video button in the main interface. Or click file import media to add your source video to the movie. Then simply drag and drop your videos on the timeline below. If you want to remove the start or end part, drag the video clip to the location you want. To split a clip in two or more just right click on it and go to split clip. You can also right click to delete the unwanted video. Cropping tool to crop the clip by using the nodes on the preview. Click crop to get rid of the unwanted edges or capture the wanted parts. Then click apply to save your settings. Click crop. You will also get rotate function on the upper right side of the pop-up window. There provides two ways for you to rotate your video to the right angle. Click the audio option to add audio tracks in the video. You can choose your own tracks from iTunes, GarageBand, or for special audio effects available in your Mac. For example, if you want to add iTunes music, just drag the music to the audio timeline. You can cut the audio to make it the same length as the video. In case you want to make video and audio independent, just right click on the clip and go to detach audio. At this point, video frames and audio will be two separate clips. You can also delete the source audio and save the added one. There are other nice thing you can make directly on each clip. Here you can use the transition tap on top. Choose the right one for you and drag and drop it between two main clips or at the very beginning or end. To shorten or stretch video or audio clips without cutting or looping their content, it is sufficient to change their playback speed. Click the stopwatch icon to enter the speed settings page. Click slow this will be played slower. As the turtle icon indicates. Click fast you will increase the playback speed. Here is the rabbit icon. Inside a movie you can also add text and titles by using the ready templates under the titles tab. Choose one, drag and drop it inside your timeline. Double click the title to edit it. Using the title settings tool above the video preview to change its font, size, color and other features. Then click apply to save your settings. Here we drag and drop in other videos on the timeline below. Split it and drag one to the video timeline. When you export, you will merge the two videos. Applying a great picture in picture effect. Regulating the clip size through the nodes and the clip placement by clicking and dragging it where you like. Use the clip filter and audio effect tool to apply filters and simple amazing audio effects.
Let's see how to save your work. To render the project content and obtain the final video, just go to the share button in the top right corner. Or you can also click the file share button to save it. You can choose whether to render and upload it online, on social websites, or render it inside your Mac disk. That's all. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our channel for more amazing guides for Apple software.